Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, I filmed throughout today and had a bunch of stuff and realized that I still needed to shoot some kind of outro. And then I decided to scrap the entire day. And I'm just gonna do a small little intimate heart to heart here and talk about where I'm going and uh, what that means. Nothing's changing. <laughs> I, I bought a shit ton of gear. You've all followed me, you know how I do that. I buy stuff. I try it. If I don't like it, I get rid of it. I buy new stuff. I just had a conversation with a friend of mine and I actually sold him a lot of my gear. Like I sold him my A7 III and a bunch of lenses and all that kind of stuff. And he has since acquired new gear. So he got an A7R4 and there's a couple lenses that he wants and he wants to try some of mine out and he wants to see all the stuff that I put together. So we just talked for a while now because we, we uh, haven't talked in a, in a, in a couple of months. So we're going to get together this weekend and we're going to go to, uh, well, we're going to go to a gun show on Saturday and check a couple things out. And then we're going to you know, probably come back here so he can see all this shit that I bought. And we're going to head out to Pleasure House Point and test it. So I'm going to let him use my 200 to 600 on his A7R4. And then I, by that time, will have my two times extender because that's supposed to be here on Wednesday. And I'm going to put the two times extender with my 70 to 200 on this camera on the a7 IV, not the r4 i'm gonna do it on the four and we're gonna go in there and i'm gonna see what i can do with that in pleasure house point with the bird autofocus because i have not used that on this camera yet i don't think i've used it at all to be perfectly honest because i haven't really taken many pictures with this camera just video and uh, you know i just want to see what it's like and then i'll let him play with this and and you know I'll, I'll go back to the 200 and all that kind of stuff or 200 to 600. kind of the gist of the of the message of all this is is that he said so i mean you're pretty much doing just video now would you consider yourself more of a, of a video guy instead of a, a still picture guy and you know i was just for a second taken aback and i was like no you know what i still consider myself a photographer at heart i always have been and i always will be i just happen to have acquired all this stuff to start filming so that you know i can document my still picture taking easier said than done especially since all the shit i have now is so big and heavy and i'm not always going to walk around the woods with this setup being the a7 IV with a 16 to 35 on this titan you know this anton bauer titan battery kit and then carry the a7 r4 with the grip on it and a 200 to 600 lens on a gigantic albeit carbon fiber interall tripod so you know it gets a little bit crazy the difference now though is that now that i have and i had said this specifically it's taken me 20 years to get to this point, but as soon as that two times extender gets here, I will literally have everything that I've always wanted when it comes to shooting pictures. Because back then when I started doing this, video wasn't a thing. It was it was all about the, the still picture. And then, you know, I moved into camcorders and now here I am with, with hybrid mirrorless cameras. But I literally have everything that I've ever wanted. It's been a long road in these 20 years to get there, but I, you know, I actually sat down and I thought to myself as I, after I said those words, I have everything I've ever wanted as far as this world of photography and videography goes. And now I just have to do something with it. And, and I'm going to do what I've been doing all along. And that's just creating. And I don't give a shit what Maddie Hapoya says. I'm creating for me. I'm just enjoying sharing it with you. I think that's BS, his video really put me off with the that stupid people that say they're shooting for themselves. It's stupid. It's all about the money. It's not about the money. It's about doing what you want to do. And it doesn't matter what anybody else tells you. And you don't have to monetize your passion and you don't have to monetize every single thing you do because it's not about the money. It's about doing what you want in here. That's the lesson from the devious monkey. And I challenge anybody on that. And well, actually I don't challenge it. I just don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. I do this for me. I do this for me. And that includes sharing it with you because I want you to see what I see that excites me, that makes me happy. And hopefully it, it, it does something for you too. And that's really the gist of this video. That's all I wanted to talk about that, that in talking with my friend, and making plans to go out and shoot together this weekend, which I always enjoy shooting with other people, that is. It has been a long road, a long 20 years 
of gear acquisition and trying this and trying that and doing this and learning this and unlearning that to get to where I am right now. And that's sitting here in my little home studio with all this gear that I have amassed and all the gear that has come and gone before it to actually be able to sit down and say that I have everything I've ever wanted. How many I mean, like how many people can actually say that? How many people feel that way? And this isn't gear acquisition syndrome in which I'm just buying to buy shit. Everything that I bought was me going in a particular direction to get to where I am right now. And that is being able to say that I have everything that I've ever wanted. So now I just need to create because that's what it was all about. Getting to the point where I had all this stuff that allowed me to actually get what was going on in here so that I could produce it for you out there and for me. But we've already been down that road. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to, you know, keep harping on that about that or stuff. I have everything I've ever wanted and I'm pretty freaking happy about it. And Hopefully I can have that come across to you and I can show you exactly what it is now that I can use all this stuff with to make me and everybody else happy. So that's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.